Hello everyone, Ali here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode at Ali's Treasure Trove. Today we do have a new episode of Ali Chat and although I was like, oh, let me, let me do my silk cosplay get ready with me video for Ali Chat. So there's honestly not that much that I can do here because this is part of the costume. So like I can't do foundation or anything. Let me see. This looks kind of weird, but whatever. Also, I hate how this feels on my neck, so I'm ready to just suffer for like the next 10 hours. It's like, I sit down, when I stand up, it's fine, but when I sit down, the way it, I guess it pulls on the back, it's like, and I'm like, so I hate this right now, but it looks cool. But yeah, so, you know, I'm not going to do like foundation or anything, but I figured now would be a good time. I haven't tried it, but I remember when this came out, I was like, I need to find it. But this is the Fenty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Yeah, for fixing up the under eye, but not, no, it's not concealer, but for color correcting. Cause that's what I have here. My under eyes are very dark. Uh, otherwise like my forehead's looking okay. My chin and my, my cheek area are not. So I'm like, yes, it doesn't matter if I have acne because I have mask. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess I'll just do my under eye. And then I've seen that you can use the Invisimats blotting powder as like a setting powder. So I want to try it out. Because I had a coupon for Sephora that I used yesterday. And I needed more primer. I was like, oh, cool, I'll get more primer. And I'd finished up my setting powder a few days ago on Monday. And I was like, oh, well, I bought one last time I went to Ulta. And I had a coupon then. So I have another one. It turns out that was the one that I had bought. So I don't have setting powder. So we're going to try this out. So good job, Allie didn't make max value coupon use. But I honestly thought I had more. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to use this. We're going to use this as our setting powder, I guess, for the under eyes. And then we'll just do an eye look as I mess with my eye. But yeah, so I guess that's what's on the table for today. Figured silk here with the red highlights. And then she does have the two red fingers. But I learned from the Rogue cosplay that uh, if, I have, if I have these on, if I have these on, like I just can't touch anything. So I cut the fingers off. So unfortunately, I had to deconstruct the costume a little bit. I can see it wasn't like this last night, but I can actually see it splitting at the, uh, where I cut the, um, on some of them, not all of them, but. So unfortunately, I, I did have to cut the fingers off just because otherwise I, I literally, you know, opening up 10 cases of Spider-Man metal, which as of release day, retail value would be like $72,000. I need to be able to touch the cards properly. So I was like, all right, silk fingers, you got to go. But anyway, so she does have the red highlights, which looks cool. So I was thinking I'd go for like something red. Usually I, I step away from doing red looks just because, oh, it makes my acne look worse, but we're covering it up. So it doesn't even matter. So, 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 so. I am excited to be opening up Spider-Man today. I'm ready to swelter in this outfit with my hair down for like 10 hours. Being choked out constantly, but it's going to be a good time gonna be a good time so anyways i think we'll get started here with our eyes i have my bt21 bull voyage palette as well as some little morphe thing that has some reds in it i was thinking i'd try out the bull voyage here voyage try off the wall that'd be cute and then maybe this one's called crunchy squad this one's called no milk what prankster I like this one here, Gentle Soul. I don't think these textures will mix well, though. But anyways, we are going to... You know, I should get a tissue. So here is... It doesn't fit great, but it fits. Doesn't help that I'm super bloated, but you know what? I'm sitting down, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, it doesn't look as good as the Rogue one. Doesn't fit as well. This part, like the top part, like obviously this, this here is supposed to be here. That's just the me problem. Like this should be like this, but whatever, whatever. It wasn't that expensive. Yeah, I wish everything was like primo top quality, but like sometimes you just gotta get surprised by release dates and then be like, oh crap, Lord of the Rings, CZX, Middle Earth's coming out in like two weeks. Let me order this Arwen Halloween costume off of Amazon. I was waiting for Cryptozoic to give us a release date so that I could get these custom outfits on Etsy. And the seller that I had been watching that had, like, really good value ones, like, they're not there anymore. So, like, I've been trying to find a different one. 
And they're all more expensive. So as always, I'm like, I'm going to try and lose weight before I get my new costume. And then boom, it comes out in two weeks. I'm like, mm, okay, I guess that's not going to happen. So hopefully that Amazon costume should be here on Monday. Make sure it fits. Okay. Itch. I feel like that put like no primer on my eyes. That's why I haven't been using. It's like, I know there's more in here. It just doesn't come out well. I'm on primer. I believe in you. I feel like the primer's more on the stick than it's actually on the little, like, foot applicator. All right. Man, this is really going to hurt my neck today. I am not excited for this. This is horrible. This is actually legitimately horrible. Can you guys see the point that's like... Ah. <sighs> uh, it makes me not want to talk, but that's my job. My job is to talk. Ah! Uh, Oh, this is going to be such a weird experience. Ah. I didn't even think that that could be like a problem, <laughs> to be honest. It didn't even occur to me. But we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. Hopefully we find some really nice cards. Oh, I'm excited. And we pull like a million dollar, million dollar Spider-Man card. It is entirely possible. That's the cra- that might be the- I don't know what's the crazier part. That I'm gonna be streaming infinite, or that I could actually pull like a million dollar Spider-Man card. Anyways. Uh, let me- let me swipe- or swatch off the wall here. It matches this color. This is more of a red-orange. Gentle Soul. This could be a cute mix. That actually is not bad. That is actually not bad. I think I just assume there are different textures because the off the wall has a bit of a more like blue foil to it rather than like a red foil. But yeah, they're the same, the same kind of texture. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll do Gentle Soul inner corner and then move out to off the wall. All right. Unless I want to use something like this. Nah, because this is more of an orangey red than a red red. So I think the orange into the red would be better than just like doing a pure red look. So gentle soul first. Which is really cute. I have an interesting plan for the new stream thumbnail. Of course, you guys will know if it worked out or not, whether what I about, I'm about to describe you guys actually saw on Wednesday, but I remember people got tilted when I, I laid across those cases of Stellar last year. And it's like, yeah, because everything stacked in the UPS truck weighs less than me, right? Right? Like, I know I'm not I'm not a twig, but, like... I want to see if I can, I can like, do a, a Spider-Man squat on top of all the cases. <laughs> and then just be floating, like, right here. Just have them all stacked up. Just be... We'll see. We'll see. I will test to make sure the boxes are suitable for my weight first. I'm not just going to like jump on them and be like, everything's crushed. Oops. But we're going to try it. <laughs> so I hope that that works out. I feel like that'd be hilarious. At least it'd be hilarious to me just because I know there are people like get upset about it. And I'm like, why are, you, why are you mad? It's fine. It's literally fine. So we'll see A, if it's literally fine. B, if it even looks cool. See if I could actually even, like, find a way to get up there. I guess I'd have to stack them up and then get on the chair and then climb onto the stack and then push the chair in. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. So moving along to off the wall. Me, IRL, off the wall. Crazy. Unhinged. Talented. What? All right. Let's, uh, ooh, cute. Ooh, that's quite red. You know what I didn't get? I brought with me, because I needed more makeup wipes. 
I did not take them out. So I will have to go get them and then come back. If I remember to edit that, I'll, I'll do a little jump cut. If not, you guys are just gonna have to deal with me gone for like five, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, you know. I'm almost, I almost dipped into this palette, whoopsies. Since the BT21 one doesn't have a mirror, that's why I have this. I grabbed this just to use as the mirror and I'm like, oh, there's reds in here. What is, oh, you guys can see the uh, computer. I'm like, what are you guys seeing? Oh, look, it's the label printer. My top loader, tiny fan, yes, tiny fan. We love tiny, and, and tiny fan we trust. You know, if I don't think about how my neck is being squeezed, it doesn't bother me because I was just sitting here being like, "Hi, huh, I don't feel the thing on my neck," because I was distracted. And then of course, it's like, "Oh, you mean this?" And it's like, "Oh, you know, it didn't go away. I just, I just ignored it." This is actually pretty cute. It's pretty messy. You know me, 10 out of 10 pro makeup artist application. Pretty messy, but I feel like it looks cute. So since it's a mess, I'm gonna go back in with some more orange. I'm gonna see if we can make it blend a little bit better. I feel like this corner here, I always have like this patch on my eyelid in the corners that just doesn't want to take eyeshadow on both sides. It has to be operator error. All right, so let me go get the wipes to clean up this area and then we'll try out my eye brightener because I think this looks pretty cute. It looks as cute as it's gonna get. So let me go grab that, I'll be right back. This thing is giving me a wedgie. I don't appreciate it. Oh, this is such a pain in the butt. You know, when I wore the Rogue, like, it wasn't that bad because it was only a couple hours. Yeah, you know, it was more so the Rogue issues. Oh, God, this sucks. This is so bad. The Rogue was, it was because I was outside and I got super sweaty and gross and then everything was just kind of, like, damp. So I'm worried that it's going to get very hot and uncomfortable here, but... Again, if I keep thinking about it being warm, I'm going to start to feel even warmer. So I need to just be like, no, I'm cold. All right, let's clean up our eye area. Do, 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 do. And then I did wet my beauty blender. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put the under eye stuff on. Figured I'd put it on my finger and then kind of blend it out, but we'll see. We'll see how that works. I have a fresh pack of wipes, so if I mess up a lot, we can just keep starting over. It's not that big of a deal. First, I was like, oh, I gotta set my alarm super early and come in. And then I was trying on the costume last night and I was like, the mask is attached. I didn't know if it was attached or not. I don't know if it was like separate. And then I was like, oh, okay, so I just cannot do like a face. So it's fine. So I don't have to go in as early. So I am very tired. So thankfully did get the snooze a little extra. Oh man, so busy. Today's only gonna get busier, so we'll see. I feel like my eyesight has really, all right, you need tiny fan. I said in tiny fan we trust, but I need you to stop blowing my hair into my face while I'm trying to wipe things. Tiny fan, I need you to stop doing that. Okay. This is my tissue, that's not my wipe. We might be a mess. I'm a cute mess, though. I 
All right, I think our cute mess is done with that wipe. The question is, should I put oh, eye brightener? I still have the box because I just opened it. It says instantly hydrates, brightens, and blurs. Light as air, sheer to buildable coverage that lasts. So I don't think I should put anything under because I feel like this is probably more of like a primary, a tinted primer. So we're just going to go in with it. That's interesting. It has like a little bulb tip. I think this is the right color too. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to just tap it on my face because why not? It looks like it's a good color for me, actually. Oh, that's like a perfect color match. I'm using shade number two, Golden Ivory. Oh, that is a perfect color match. Look at how, look at, I'm looking at the uh, camera reflection. If you guys are like, Allie, why are you not making eye contact? I mean, of course you guys can see all the dots here, but look how much lighter it is and more natural. Oh, I really like this. Yes. Queen. Queen Ri Ri, right? Now I don't look like a raccoon anymore. I really like that. Let me get that off my finger actually. Let me put the beauty blender to use. Because I may I got I have this ready for this purpose. I'm really happy with that. I really, I'm really happy with that. It's like very, very lightweight. And yet it still did what exactly I wanted it to do. So I'm very pleased with that. Ooh, I like it. Yes, 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 yes. Now we'll see how long it lasts though. Of course, application went well. Have to uh, see how long it stays. Now, we're gonna, what kind of brush are you? You're like a foundation brush. You're Fenty though. I personally have no luck using foundation with brushes, but still when this came out, I was like, oh, let me get everything so I have it and I have the whole collection. I could do all my, my stuff and then I've never used it. I just took it out of the original packaging. Uh, but we are, because I've used this before with like this, not the greatest, but I'm gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. I don't know how to describe it. Powder, powder my face, I guess. The foundation brush. I can't see if you have powder on you. You look like you do. I think this, since I got this one, it's been reformulated and also made with reusable pans. So right now this is one solid piece. I believe the new ones, this is removable and then they sell the refillable ones. A lot of Fenty products do have that, which I think is neat. The lipsticks too. I think it's the first like refillable lipsticks. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm curious. I will try and use this throughout the day. Because I always see people online with good results for the uh, Invisimat. 
But whenever I use it again, I'm using this though. Whenever I've used it, I feel like it just kind of pulls my makeup. I think that's because I'm pulling with the sponge. I don't even know like what that is. Anyways, but um, why am I just powdering my nose? Because I feel like my nose is always shiny. So I just was curious. I like the way it feels. I mean, it's not necessarily the powder. I like the way it feels. I just, this is kind of cool. This is oddly relaxing. Is my face looking less shiny? My forehead looks kind of shiny. That's probably just the ring light, but... I can't even see well. I'm just looking in the monitor. I'm like, yeah, it looks so much less shiny. And you know what? I'm just going to tell myself, make myself feel good. All right. But no, I do like the way, I feel like it really just changes how I look and honestly my confidence, just not having such dark circles, like having a more even skin tone, it, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I like this is a lot. When I saw this product announced, I was like, I gotta have it. And then Sephora didn't have it for a while, but Sephora and JCPenney's are not, are no longer going to exist. Now they're in Kohl's. That explains why Sephora always, every every Sephora inside of JCPenney has always seemed like it was like a dead zone because they're being phased out. Well, let's see. I'm like, why does this feel weird here? It's because there is a, there are strings. Hold on, why are there strings? Either way, we're getting rid of these strings. And like something is tickling me. But is he here last night? I don't remember. All right, hold on. I have to do some, some fixing. Of course, I was like, I don't need to bring my costume scissors today. I already cut everything I needed to cut. These scissors are not great for fabric. I feel like there's a string in my mouth. It's Cause Tiny Fan blew hair in my mouth. Oh my goodness. Tiny Fan's revenge, dude. Oh, that was my hair tie. What am I, why am I such a mess today? Oh, it's over there. It launched itself. Does the silk do this? I have no idea. I have to Google it. I have to Google silk poses before I make the thumbnail. But let me pull down the fake chest outline to see if it can actually fit with the real chest outline. It just looks weird. It looks so weird. Am I maybe just out comic booking a comic book girl? There we go. There we go. I'll just hold this down for a good picture. I do think this looks cute though. You know, nothing like top tier, but fun, exciting, interesting. So we'll see. I'm curious how long I'm actually going to like wear this. Like no guarantees I actually wear this like the whole stream. Although I might just like get used to it. Rate my silk cosplay down below. I give it like a five out of 10. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought of this video. I had fun. Let me know. Those of you, nobody that actually watches this video for makeup, what do you guys think of the Fenty Eye Brightener? If you've used it yourself, or if you use the Invisimat blotting powder as a setting powder instead. Because originally it was just advertised as a blotting powder, and now it says blotting and setting powder. So I have the original one. So let me know. I am very pleased. I'm very pleased with how it looks. And you know what? You know what's one thing I didn't do? It's usually what I do first. You know what I didn't do is I didn't check my eyebrows. 
Let me check my brows. Do -do 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 -do. Mm. All right, that looks fine. All right, all right. Brow check complete. Well, yeah, so I thought this looked cute. Like, it's not great or anything, but it's fun. It's doable. I mean, it, it fits for the most part, so... Let me know what you guys think, and I am excited to get into some Spoodermans today. So, the boxes should be in the back so I can start getting all set up for the thumbnails. So let me go ahead and wrap this video on up. If you guys enjoyed it, which as always, I hope that you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments, questions, anything for me, always feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. And if you're not yet part of the Ali's Treasure Show family, I'd love for you to join me here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, let me actually... Set that. And of course, also before I wrap off the video, while my face now dries from being slightly damp, do have to give an extra special shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. I really, truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Gemstone Miners, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, David Mounts, Jack Perez, Keith Mina, Mako, Reese, Ryan, Stephen, or, uh, Rees, Ryan, Sebastian Morency, Shannon Hoon 74, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. Also do have five crystal collectors, Anthony Ruiz, Joe Capo, Joe Vaughn, Sean F., and Tibsley. But thank you so much again, though, to all of my patrons. And no matter which tier you're on, whether I say your name at the end of every video or not, really do appreciate your above and beyond supports. But thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for watching. Yes, yeah, interesting. It's like, oh, Ally Chats, where Ally doesn't really do much makeup and just complains. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So hope you guys take care. And I hope that you all will join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on Allie's Treasure Trove. Bye.